back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Priya and today we're going to do a fall makeup tutorial. I wasn't actually able to shoot a lot of videos in the past couple of months because my schedule was really jam-packed and I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to shoot this video with you guys. So without wasting a lot of time, and make sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time whenever I upload a new video. Grab a snack or grab a drink, whatever you prefer, and let's get into the video. So to start off with, we're going to do skin prep and as usual, I'm going to do my normal routine, which is basically moisturizing my face, making sure that I'm using SPF on top of my moisturizer. And for my foundation primer today, I'm going to use the Morphe Revitalizer uh, foundation primer. I'm just going to take... Oh! What the hell? Um, I meant to actually squeeze the pack a little gently, but I guess I was very harsh. Okay, so since the, my hair isn't cooperating with me today, so I'm just going to push it back and this side as well, so I can actually have full access to my face and apply some face primer okay i usually like applying a lot of face primer because i have a lot of pores around this area and this does a really really good job with pore filling oh my god this product is so rich um and i should the texture and the way it feels on the skin is so nice i don't know why i haven't been using this as much but yep so far i am loving it so for my brows today i am going to use my favorite favorite uh, maybelline tattoo studio brow gel in the shade 380 and guys I have used this so much. For my eye primer or eyeshadow base, I'm going to use the P. Louise base and this is what it looks like. It's in the shade Rumor 4 and I'm going to take just a little bit on a small eyeshadow brush and basically I'm going to dab it all over my eyelid. I'm also going to work it right in the inner corners of my eyes and make sure that the whole eyelid is actually covered just going to use a damp beauty blender and i'm just going to dab it right over my eyelids so it blends out nicely and it sets For my eyeshadow today i'm going to use this OPB Beauty um, Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette. I received this palette on one of my BoxyCharm boxes and just take a look at how stunning this looks. It has all colorful shades in it and has some full vibes going on in here as well. And today I'm feeling these two shades because it's kind of like a fall vibe kind of thing going on. I'm going to use this orangish brownish color as my base and I'm going to go in with this beautiful shimmery greenish color on top of my eyelid. And in a circular motion, I'm just going to place the eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eyes. So basically dragging it towards the crease and i am going to be messy with it because i am going for more of a messy look next i am going to go in with the shade it's kind of like a greenish kind of shade so i'm gonna apply it on my eyelid with my fingers and i'm just going oh my god this this is a really really pigmented 
I don't think I'm going to actually um, apply a lot of this green shade because oh my god guys it's really shiny and it's really pigmented it will kind of look like I'm going to a party or something so I'm not going for that look so I'm going to use this darker shade of brown it kind of looks like a purplish brown shade and i'm gonna go over this green color because guys like holy shit this is this color is intense so if you have the same palette and you want to have more of like a fall look jeez don't do not use that now my eyeshadow kind of like is looking like somebody kind of like punched me on my eyes and i'm getting some black eye vibes it just looks like this right now guys i'm i promise this is going to look better i'm just going to pack on this shade into the green eyeshadow which i applied earlier and with the same fluffy brush i'm going to just blend it in It doesn't look that bad, right? I kind of like fixed it. It kind of looks nice. It kind of looks like the eyeshadow which I do on a daily basis. But I still love it. And it does give fall vibes. Beautiful, right? Okay, so with Sephora so eyeliner, as usual, if you guys have watched me from the very beginning, you guys know what kind of eyeliner I'm gonna use. I will be using the Sephora High Precision Black Eyeliner. So lashes are on, we're gonna go in with a setting spray first, and then we're gonna go in with the foundation. The setting spray which I'm gonna use is the Milani Make It Last Original Natural Finish Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray it all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And of course, I'm going to shake it well before applying. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and get some product on and base and basically dab it all over my face. concealer I'm going to use the Milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer and it is in the shade 140 pure beige so I got it this is not my skin color actually it's a shade lighter than my skin color just so that I could apply it around the high points of my face to ensure that I'm getting that highlight which I'm looking for so I'm going to basically dab some product right around the inner corner of my eye taking it down towards my nose and then I'm gonna make a V shape, uh, angled shape right on the side of my eye. So, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to use I'm going to use the setting powder from Huda Beauty. And I'm going to dab some product on the brush and set my under eye. So as you might have noticed, I did not apply a ton of powder. It's 
right underneath my eyes to bake it. Instead, what I did, I just took my powder brush, grabbed some loose setting powder on my on my brush and, and basically dabbed it right underneath my eye area to set the area where I applied the concealer. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a bronzer brush. I'm going to use this new product. I actually got this product um, in one of my BoxyCharm boxes and it's called the Iconic London Ultimate Bronzing Powder. This is what the packaging looks like and the product itself is so huge you guys. This is huge and look how beautiful this looks it looks absolutely amazing and i'm going to use my bronzer brush dab some product on and just going to apply it around the area where i need to contour Later today, I'm going to use the Milani um, Afterglow Luminous Strobe Light Highlighter and I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Just grab the product right on the side of the brush and oh my god, do you see how beautiful and pigmented it is? Oh my god. Okay, this is too much. <laughs> apply some on this side as well okay guys so if you are a very heavy-handed person with makeup make sure if you're using this particular product you're not picking up too much otherwise it will look like the stars kind of like landed on your cheekbones so I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just going to go over it with a sponge so it kind of like covers some of the highlight which I've applied okay so I'm going to go in go back in in the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this golden shimmery color shade with an angled brush and apply it in the inner corners of my eyes So for my lips today, I'm going to go in with the, with the Huda Beauty Matte Liquid Lip. Go. So this lipstick is in the shade Muse and I feel like it goes so nicely with this eyeshadow look and it just puts the whole look together to finish the look i'm gonna go in with the milani setting spray again to ensure that this makeup lasts you more than 16 hours this is the finished look you guys i enjoyed so much creating this look with you guys and so happy to be back to doing what i love can't wait to make new content for you guys so if you like the video don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching